Hello and welcome to the fourth edition of Foot Picking with Freydner. Today I have a, another American 1100. This one featuring spool pins. And it's required me to do some fairly substantial upgrades to my picking infrastructure. A new vise, a custom turning tool, and a new hook with a handle that was made out of a broken cuticle pusher, which I think is hilarious to use with my toes. Without further ado, let me start picking. We'll click on one. We'll click, and I felt a tiny bit of movement on the core in two. Three was binding, and I got a click out of it, but now it feels loose. Four is either very tight or I'm picking the warding. I don't know what's going on in the back of the lock right now. We'll click on one, nothing on two. So sharp clicks on three. Sorry, four, and then I poked five and dropped into a false set. Now back to the beginning and trying to feel for any spools. Number one, counter rotating. Oops, hook's not very useful to me upside down. There we go. Nice, healthy set feeling from number one. There we go. Counter rotation on two. So I've lost my false set. So I'll go back to pins four and five and see if I can regain it. Well, everything still feels set, so I'll let off some tension and hope that I just overset pin two. sure what happened there. Okay, I just 
touch two and regain finding false set. Getting some counter rotation on three. And having trouble pushing on it. There's also a chance that three is already set and I'm just fooling myself. Ah, I was, I was. I just went back to one, got some counter rotation, and now that's an open. I don't even care that that went onto the floor. And now I will not be relocking the core because I don't have a key for this. So to gut as usual for these types of locks, a Phillips screwdriver down the shackle hole We'll start the task. Then remove the uh, core retention plate from the lock body. Set that there. There's the body. Place that. You know what? I'll put this up here. So that I can put my pinning tray right there. There we go. Remove the uh, C-clip. Turn the cord to a better position. Grab my follower. Make sure I won't dump any key pins and push it through. Pins number one, two, three, four, five. There's the core. Nothing much to it, it's an American lock core. Rearrange these a bit with my tweezers.
number one has a spool. There's the spring. Number two is also a spool. There's spring number two. Number three is a third spool. And the spring follows. Number four is serrated. And there's the fourth spring. And finally, number five is a spool. As a completely ordinary spring. There's the Bible. And here are all of the pins. Ooh. I almost dropped it. It's flipped over, but it's fine. Goodness, this took me a long time to finally get on video. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.